Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the effect of substrate concentration and enzyme concentration on the rate of an enzyme catalyzed reaction. In the last few videos we've looked at how enzymes catalyze reactions and one idea we've seen is that the rate of an enzyme catalyzed reaction depends on the frequency of collisions between the substrate molecules and the active site of the enzyme. And remember that the word frequency means the number of collisions per second. In this video, we're exploring the effect of substrate concentration and enzyme concentration on the rate of an enzyme catalyzed reaction. Let's start by looking at the effect of substrate concentration. I'm showing you here a number of enzyme molecules and their substrate. In this example, we've got a relatively low concentration of substrate. Because the substrate concentration is low, we've got a low frequency of collisions between the substrate and the active site. So in this example, the rate of reaction will also be relatively low. In this example, I'm keeping the number of enzyme molecules the same, but I've doubled the substrate concentration. This means that the frequency of collisions between the substrate molecules and the active sites also doubles. And because of this, the rate of reaction will also double. Now I've doubled the substrate concentration again. And again, this will double the frequency of collisions between the substrate and active site. And again, this causes the rate to double. As you can see, we produce a graph with a straight line through zero. And what this means is that the rate of an enzyme catalyzed reaction is directly proportional to the substrate concentration. In other words, if we double the substrate concentration, then the rate of reaction also doubles. Now, if I continue to increase the substrate concentration, then there comes a point where the rate stops increasing any further. At this point, the enzyme's working at its fastest rate and scientists call this Vmax. Now at any given time, every active site will be colliding with the substrate molecule. So if we add more substrate, then there are no free active sites for the extra substrate molecules to collide with. So now any increase in the substrate concentration will not increase the rate of reaction any further. Scientists say that the enzyme is saturated. Okay, let's look now at the effect of enzyme concentration. Imagine I've got a low concentration of enzyme molecules, but a very large concentration of substrate. All of the active sites will be colliding with substrate molecules all of the time. So at any time, a large number of substrate molecules will be unable to collide with a free active site. This means that the rate of reaction will be relatively low. If I double the enzyme concentration, then I double the number of active sites. This doubles the frequency of collisions between the substrate and the active sites, so this doubles the rate. Just like before, the rate is directly proportional to the enzyme concentration, provided that there's more substrate than enzyme. However, if the amount of substrate becomes limited, then increasing the enzyme concentration further will no longer increase the rate. That's because there will not be enough substrate molecules to collide with all of the available active sites. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the effect of substrate concentration and enzyme concentration on the rate of an enzyme catalyzed reaction. 